Hey guys, what's going on? I hope you're doing great today. In this episode, we will talk about symbolic mathematics inside of MATLAB, but in this series, we'll talk specifically about limit and Taylor series. So we're here in the script now, and as always, you know the procedure already, so you're already trained to a professional. We define an object called x by sims x again, and then we want to see what the limit of sine x over x is. If we execute the script, you will see that this the limit is 1. We can also give explicit limits, so we define a function 1, which is 1 minus cosine x divided by x squared. Then we can prettify this equation, which gives us this. This looks like this. And um, what I forgot to implement, of course, is the limit. So we say just limit of function 1. And what this gives us is 1 half. So you can also check that if you want. The limit of this expression is 1 half. And if we don't explicitly give a limit, the limit will of course be with x going to 0. So this is implicit. We can also do it explicit by saying limit function 1, 0. So this would give us the same, or x to 1. This was, would give us 1 minus cosine 1. So you see you can define the uh, to where x should go, our variable should go. Of course, we only have x here, so we can also say something like x comma 1. So that would, in this case, we take x, and this x should go to 1 for this expression. Then we would get something like 1 minus cosine of 1. We can also say x should go to 0 in the limit. And if we execute this, and as you can see, it's the same as before, it's 1 half. That would be the same by just deleting this part here and saying limit of function 1, because the standard limit is set to 0 of the standard variable, of course. And in the next step, we will talk about Taylor series. We again define a symbolic object, then we define a function, sine of x, and then we're going to have the Taylor series expression of this sine function, which is nothing else than this right here. So x to the power of 5 divided by 120, and so on. Then we can have also a look at the Taylor expression of the cosine, which is this expression right here. And we can have a look at the Taylor expansion of the exponential function, as you can see right here. And how this Taylor function works is you usually give the expression first, or the function. You give a separate and the next step comma. And then usually you have the parameters n and a. And n, in this case, stands for the degree of the Taylor series. So you will, we will go to the degree n minus 1, in this case. And the, uh, the point we are developing the Taylor series around is defined by a. So I hope that makes sense. If you have any further questions regarding the Taylor series expansion and want to have more complicated examples, feel free to write me some comments down in the comment section. And as always, make sure to give the video a thumbs up. Let me know what you want to see in the next episode. And as always, make sure to keep engineering your mind. See you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>